Hi, welcome to the next episode of our educational series on Questus channel. This time, we will discuss one of the most popular methods of portfolio analysis, developed by the Boston Consulting Group. From this video, you will learn what is portfolio analysis and why is it worth to implement it? What is the BCG matrix and how to utilize it? How are cash cows different from dogs and stars? First, we need to clarify the term portfolio analysis. So far, we've only dealt with macro and micro environment analyses. Portfolio analysis is used to make decisions regarding the range of products offered by a company. Owing to it, we can evaluate individual areas of the company's activity and indicate both those that may be the source of our competitive advantage and those that don't bring the expected results. Portfolio methods also allow us to estimate the attractiveness and competitiveness of products in comparison with other companies' offers in a given industry and to indicate potential threats to the organization, both external and internal. The BCG matrix is one of the most popular portfolio methods used by organizations. It was established in the 1969 by the Boston Consulting Group and was mainly used to analyze the management of business units. Its goal was to properly allocate funds to individual areas of the company. Today, the BCG matrix is used by organizations to determine which products should remain in their range, which should be withdrawn and which have the potential to be profitable in the future. So, what is the structure of the BCG matrix? The BCG method categorizes strategic business units, that is, brands, products or customers, according to two factors, the sector's growth rate and the relative market share. Therefore, first of all, we need to draw two axes, the horizontal one, indicating the market share of products or brands, and the vertical one, the growth rate of the industry. Now, how to estimate the range of values on individual axes? The value of the relative market share is assumed to be constant and follows the division. From the tenth of the share, that is 10% of sales of the main competitor, through one, the same as the main competitor, and up to 10, marking 10 times more sales than the main competitor. The vertical axis, which reflects the market growth rate, should be tailored to the specificity of a given sector. For example, the internet technology sector has a much faster growth rate than the publishing industry. This way, we create a matrix on which we allocate individual elements of the company's offer. Each of them should be analyzed in terms of the aforementioned market share in relation to the largest competitor and the growth rate of the sector in which it functions. As a result, each of the products will be allocated to one of the four areas of a BCG matrix. Analyzing the location of individual products on the matrix is the most interesting part of the process. Their location represents their current potential and their chances to compete. There are four types of strategic groups distinguished by the BCG matrix. The first are question marks, that is, products that have only recently been introduced to the market. They need large investments and don't bring any income in the initial period. Their future is uncertain and they carry a significant amount of risk, but may be a source of funding in the future. The second group the stars are those products or brands which, despite their strong position in their category, still have a high growth rate. They still require additional investments, but unlike the question marks, they are starting to actually pay dividends. The third group are cash cows, 
that is, those business units that have a stable market position and generate the lion's share of profits for the company. These are often the products that keep the company thriving. The organization strategy should be geared towards defending their position. The last and least liked group are dogs. The products or brands that have a low relative market share and show a low sales growth rate. They are gradually withdrawn from their portfolio and are usually completely discarded when they cease to be profitable. Now, what should a balanced portfolio of an organization look like? The company usually introduces several new products to the market. These are the question marks. At the same time, it has a large number of stars and a group of cash cows, which, together with the dogs, finance the rest of the business units. A few products which are slowly being withdrawn from the market are also a natural element of the matrix. Phew! This was not the simplest topic, but we hope that from today's video you've learned. What is portfolio analysis and why should we use it? What is the BCG analysis and how to conduct it step by step? Why the cash cows are funded by the stars, while the question marks and the dogs are left to their fate? But that's not everything. We have more videos ahead of us related to the strategic analysis, marketing mix and other business topics. We still have a large dose of marketing knowledge at hand, which we would like to pass on to you. So, see you next time.